right, this is how I detach and reattach our Fontaine 55 ton trailer. Uh, just about all the Fontaines are exactly the same. You got a front lift axle you can chain up. You have your ride height in here. When I'm empty, I ride around one above middle. When I'm loaded, I ride middle or one down. First thing you always do, drop your bags. You wanna make sure your bags are completely dropped before you set the front of that trailer down. Because if you set the front of this trailer down without the bags being dropped, it's gonna try and shove the trailer forward. You got your airlines tucked underneath there while you're driving something up underneath it or on top of it, I mean, it can run over your airlines, but they have to be out of the way. For the sake of this video, we're not actually gonna completely detach. We're just gonna set it down and pick it back up. You wanna start your pony motor, which is through here. Get that up and going. Then you wanna pick up on the trailer a little bit to release the weight on this arm. I flipped the arm completely over out of the way. So it's not on those key waves anymore. Then I start coming down. Once I bring it down just a little bit, I reach in here and I release the pin. Make sure the pin's completely pulled. Then I bring the trailer down all the way onto the ground. The airbags are completely dropped. The trailer is almost on the ground. I'm gonna go ahead and release my airlines and my lights. Then I set my pigtail down on the deck. And I keep coming down with this completely on the ground. Then I watch these cylinders and I want the cylinders to completely collapse. To get the trailer as low or the neck as low as I can away from the knuckles that it lifts up on. See here that this is at its lowest point. Then I bring my kickstand down by pushing up on the second or the first lever, and I come down with my kickstand, push down on the frame, which lifts up on the neck. If you watch, I just want the weight of the neck supported right there. Now the weight of the neck is supported. It's barely off right here, and I can go ahead and pull forward. Now I just backed up to the neck and I touched. I'm gonna push down on this lever to go up on the kickstand. And it's resting all the way up on the trailer. Then I wanna start lifting up on the cylinders here. And the second the trailer comes off the ground, I wanna check my pin, make sure we're in alignment. So if you watch, it's about to pick up some weight. I'm starting to pick up weight right there. The trailer's barely off the ground. Now I'm gonna check my pin. It closes just fine, I, back in that keeper. So then I wanna flip this down so it falls back on the keyways. I wanna keep going up. I ride in notch number two. So wait until you hear the second click. One. Two. Then I come down and I wait so it, the motor loads up to know that I have all the weight down onto the keyway and the weight of the trailer is being supported by the trailer, not by the cylinders. Then I can make sure my kickstand is all the way up. I shut the motor off. You want to know what happens if you don't leave your kickstand all the way up and you go to turn, you rip the fender off like I just did the other day. So then you come back, you re-hook back up your pigtail. I do the blue line first. Then I hook up my lights. And then I hook up my red line. You want to make sure your toes aren't in underneath the front of the trailer. For some reason, if this trailer were to drop down, which it can't, but if it did, 
your toes are underneath the front of the trailer. And if anyone's helping me, I don't let them do that either. I let them know when I'm about to release the brakes, just in case they're trapped between something or stand behind it when the truck lurches back. Now, you can set the brakes. I don't like doing that because you have to climb back up into the cab, then come back down here just to air up your trailer. For me, it's faster to leave the brakes release on the tractor. When I pull the line, it sets the brakes on the trailer. And when I push the line back in, it releases the brakes on the trailer. So as long as the tractor brakes are set, you're okay. But you have air already coming to the back of your trailer, filling up your tanks. So when you go to lift your axles, then you can, you don't have to do a whole extra step. There's already air in the tanks. And then you can click your light on, which is your blinkers, and you're ready to go. That's how you disconnect and reconnect from a Fontaine 55 ton, but this applies to just about all the Fontaine trailers.